man does not want a masculine woman. A real man does not want to deal with a woman who thinks she's a man who acts like a man. This is the reality, guys. If you're a true masculine alpha dude, you don't deal with masculine women unless it's at a business level. Because masculine women, I'm gonna tell you guys, are the worst type of women out there. Sure, there are women out there with masculine traits, but they still remain feminine. That's why women with who are very feminine can have masculine traits. Maybe they are into fighting, maybe they're into business, maybe they're very ambitious, motivated, driven. But that doesn't mean that they're masculine. What makes a woman masculine is how she presents herself and how she thinks. Because let me tell you this, bro. You, a woman can still be feminine and, and possess masculine traits. But once a woman is masculine, thinks she's masculine, and then possesses masculine traits, those are the worst type of women. Because let me tell you this, man. Women who, are, who act masculine and have masculine traits, they're going against their biology. Those type of women don't want to have kids. Those type of women don't want to have a family. Those type of women are very bitchy. Those type of women complain. Those type of women are very miserable. All right? So as a man, as a masculine man, you don't want to deal with women like that. Because why? Because you already know the consequences of dealing with women like that. I've been through it, guys. I have been in that position. But that's the thing. When I was dealing with masculine as women... I was very feminine. So I dealt with it because I liked women like that because I was feminine. They were the opposite of me. So once you start becoming masculine, once you start becoming more of a man, you start noticing, you start repelling women who are very masculine because they want to take the control in the relationship. They want to be wearing the pants in the relationship. And as a man, you do not tolerate that because you're the leader, you're the man, you're the guider, you're the messenger, you are the mentor. A woman is supposed to be your help me. A woman is supposed to help help out his king, not the other way around. Just think about it, guys. You have to think about it like this, bro. If you have your own kingdom, you're a king, you have your own empire. Are you going to be helping out your queen as in, I'm going to make your business grow, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that? No, because your stuff is more important than hers. So when a woman comes into your life, she's supposed to add value to your kingdom, not take away from your kingdom. Because let me tell you this, bro. A lot of you guys deal with these masculine as women. You are helping her out more than you're helping yourself out. And if anything, guys, it's supposed to be the other way around. She's supposed to be sacrificing her goals and her dreams for you because she wants to make you happy because that's what she wants to do. But... Don't expect women who are masculine to do this. Because why? Because they're masculine as fuck. Women who are feminine, women who are in their natural feminine state, they naturally do this. They want to help out their king. They want to help out their man. They want to sacrifice. They want to cook. They want to clean. They want to clean the house. They want to do things to help out the man. They want to pay the bills. They want to do the taxes, etc., etc. But a lot of you guys... You guys have low standards for yourself simply because you are a beta, you're feminized. So what happens is when you want to get a relationship with a woman, when you're with a woman, you expect her to do the, the guiding. Like for example, if you know you're feminized, you know you're a beta, you know you're a feminine dude. If you're asking her, hey, what do you want to do? Or hey, what, what, um, do you like doing this? Or hey, this and this and that. Dude, a masculine dude is going to be like, all right, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to go to my house. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Blah, 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 blah. You take lead. But a submissive dude, a dude who's beta, is going to be asking her, can we do this? You want to go out eat he here? You want to eat here? Oh, baby, what do you want to eat? Nah, bro. You're a fucking man. A man is supposed to be like, yo, we're going to go to McDonald's. Yo, we're going to go over to my house. Yo, we're going to go to Six Flags. Yo, we're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to clean my car. This and this and that. There is no gray area in being masculine. It's either you're masculine or you're not. You know, you have to understand this as a man. Okay, for all you betas out there, understand this, bro. If you're attracting masculine women, women who think they are men, it's because you're feminine and you like that. And subconsciously, you like that shit. But consciously, maybe you're like aware of it. You're like, I don't even like masculine women. But you have to break that barrier and become a true man. 
And in order to become a true man, this is what you gotta do, bro. You got to self-improve every fucking day. Get on your purpose, work out, get your diet on point, fix your face, get a better style, get some money, um, improve everything, get some hobbies going on, text women less, you know, let women hit you up, don't don't hit up women, etc, etc. That's how you become a man, guys. And there's much more, but this is only a small list I listed out for you guys. There is much more, but as a man, guys, you need to understand this. If you really want to become a masculine dude, you got to get on your shit. You got to stop putting women on a pedestal. You got to stop putting so much attention on these women. Because in reality, guys, women are supposed to fight for your time, not the other way around. Women are supposed to be hitting you up. Hey, when are we going to do some? Hey, are you free tonight? Hey, 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 buddy, this, 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 this. But instead, guys, you guys are doing the pursuing. You guys are doing the chasing. Hey, baby, when are you free? Hey, baby, are you free tonight? Hey, baby, you want to do something? This, nah, nah, nah. Bro, you're acting like a chick. You think a king is going to be hitting up women? Hey, you want to do something? Nah, nah bro, a king lets, lets the women come to him because he knows his value. He ain't got to sell himself, bro. He ain't got to prove himself. It's either you see the work or you don't. Either you see the value or you don't. There is no gray area. That's why a real masculine man does not want a masculine woman because they know what they possess. They know what type of women they are. They know that they will always try to shit test you and take lead in the relationship no matter what. That's why I say as a masculine man, you don't even talk to masculine women. Sure, if it's in a business you know, aspect, if you guys are working one-on-one -on -one in a biz, you know, she's your business partner. Sure. She, that's an advantage, you know, that's an advantage to have because she thinks like a man, but bro, if you're not doing some type of business with her, bro, she is not good for you. She's not good for you, bro. If anything, she's going to leech off your energy. She's going to leech off your masculine energy. Next, you know, bro, you're going to be feminine again. Why? Because you're hanging out with this masculine ass woman. But let me tell you this, bro. If you're a real man, you don't even tolerate women like that. You put them to the side. You put them on ice forever. But why? Because you know what it is already. You know what she is. You know what, what her tendencies are. You know that she will always want to be the king, even though she's a woman, even though she should be striving to be a queen. But let me tell you this, guys. Nowadays, there is a lot of masculine as women out there. There is a lot of women out there who think they are men and act like men and think they should be paid like men, but they're not willing to put in the work like men. They're not willing to be motivated like men. They're not willing to be driven like men, but they still expect people to treat them like a man, even though, uh, even though they are a woman. And it's a shame, guys, because women are more happier when they are at their feminine state. Women are much, much joyful in life when they are pleasing their king, their man. But society's teaching women, you go girl, be independent. You don't need no man, men are toxic. You know what happens guys? Women are miserable. Now women can't find that alpha. Now women can't find their king. Why? Because society's teaching them to hate men, that men are toxic, that men ain't shit, yada, yada, yada. And that's the thing, dude. As a man, dude, I love women. I love all my queens. I love all my baby girls. But do I put you on a pedestal? No, because my purpose is above everything. My purpose is above women. My hobbies are above women. My family is above women. Women are last in the priority list. Women are literally the fucking ground. You're last in the priority list. But if you don't have this type of man mindset, you don't carry yourself this way, you don't value yourself as a king, women are going to act up and they're gonna try to take the lead in the relationship. So if you're currently in a relationship and you notice that your woman's trying to guide you, tell you what to do, bro, that's your fault because you put yourself in that position. So this is my recommendation. If you're in a relationship and that's happening, bro, you gotta start acting, acting masculine and not a bitch. Grab yourself by the fucking balls and start telling her what you wanna do. And if she doesn't wanna listen, you fucking leave her, bro and never talk to her ever again. Why? Because that will teach her a lesson, bro. You realize when 
you, you when you meet up with the masculine women and she's acting up, you know you take you teach her a great lesson when you walk away and you never talk to her because now she will have regret that she will never meet another masculine man that she will actually meet more betas and masculine men and that's what she wants bro so let her be you know let her be with the betas let her be with the submissive men let her be with the yes men you are a man you take in charge you know what you want to do so why are you letting this woman take lead she doesn't know better than you bro you have life experience you have wisdom you have intellect you have knowledge what does she have not much and that's just the truth not a, not a lot of women nowadays they don't have shit going on they don't have shit even though they think they know shit they don't have they don't know shit you know more as a man than they do bro even though that's the thing bro that's the thing my dude she can never be a man she can never think like a man she can never be biologically a man even though she thinks she's a man she will always remain a woman she'll always have a period she will always be emotional emotional as you can tell as a man you remain you remain you know masculine you remain solid you remain logical you remain stoic cuz that will attract feminine women in your life Stay on your purpose, work out, diet down, self-improve every day. I guarantee you, bro, you will attract feminine women if you act masculine. Because let me tell you this, bro, if you act masculine, you will repel masculine women because they want to take in charge. And that's the way it is, man. That's what a real man doesn't tolerate, doesn't deal with masculine women. Because they already know what it is. They already know how they act and they already know they will always try to be a man. All right, so that's it with this video. Peace, and let's stay alpha, all right?